If you're not pre-programming activities in Pipedrive, you're missing out on a huge time-saving feature. You want your salespeople to log into Pipedrive, end up on the pipeline view, and navigate to their activities as quickly as possible. You want them to complete those tasks and move on to other things. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a recurring activity in Pipedrive that's initially triggered by a stage change. There are hundreds of use cases for this sort of automation. Maybe you want to follow up with prospects once per week after sending a quote. Or maybe you have to order physical inventory for your clients and you found that the inventory gets delivered quickest if you follow up with your suppliers at regular intervals. Whatever it may be, having pre-programmed recurring activities takes the guesswork out of how to close deals, it saves you time, and it makes you more money. So here's what we're gonna build today. Going back to my pipeline, let's say that you wanna follow up with your prospects once per week after you send them a proposal. So I'm gonna move this deal into proposal sent, comes down to the bottom here, so there it is. And when I move it, that automation starts. There's gonna be a one week delay, and if after that one week, the deal is still open, it's not won or it's not lost, and it's still in the proposal sent stage, then we're gonna create an activity to follow up on the proposal. For sake of demo, I've sped that up, so we're gonna see that activity pop up here in a second. So you can see that the yellow triangles become a green circle, meaning there's now an activity on that deal that is due today. So if I go to my activities, pretend I'm the sales rep, I now see a proposal follow-up activity. So if I open the deal, I have that activity to complete. And if I follow the instructions here, it says if the deal is still open and in this stage in one week, an additional activity will be created for me. So as a sales rep, I'm gonna mark this activity as done. Again, for sake of demo, I've sped this up. So we will see another activity get created here in just a minute because this deal is still open and in the proposal sent stage after that delay step is happens. So here we see that activity and you can see there is still the one that I've completed here and back in my activities list, there is that second activity. Um, again, this was sped up to so a one minute delay instead of that one week delay. Um, but now I'm gonna show you how you build that. So you're gonna come down to the three dots here. I've got a little conflict here. So these three dots and then go to automations. First, I'm just gonna show you these two automations. I already have them built, but I will break it down and show you how you will actually build them step by step. So in my automations, this stage change to proposal sent, this is our first automation. So the deal is updated, that's the trigger. Then we have the condition, the, steel, the deal stage has changed to proposal sent. I have my one minute delay, again, for sake of demo, we'll do an actual one week delay um, in the actual build, and then we will create this activity if certain criteria are met. Then we have this proposal follow-up. So this activity is triggered when an activity is updated. So this is based on that proposal follow-up activity getting marked as done. We again have a delay step. If conditions are met, then we create another activity in exactly the same format. And this automation will run on a recurring basis. So I can mark a proposal follow-up activity done. I can mark 10 of them as done. And a week later, if the conditions I have uh, are met, I'll get another reminder activity. So this is how you create that recurring activity kind of for infinity until a deal is won or lost. So now let's go to build it. So here I'm going to click to add a new automation and first I need to select my trigger. So my first trigger is that the deal is updated and it's going to be that the deal stage has changed to and then this is going to be the proposal sent in my standard pipeline. So I'm going to apply that condition. Then I want a delay. So I'm going to add a delay step and I can just do one week. And again, you have lots of different options here, or you can also do a custom duration. So I'm gonna apply that delay step. Then I need to check if the conditions are met that I want to have for the automation to continue. So in this case, I want it to be that the deal stage is still 
that proposal sent stage, right? If the deal stage has changed, I don't want this activity to be created. And then also in here, I want to add the condition that the status of the deal is open. So if the deal has been won or lost, I also don't want this activity. I don't need to follow up if we've already won the contract. So I'm going to apply that condition. So if this condition is met, then I want to create that first proposal follow-up activity. So here I will now take an action step and I'm going to create an activity. Now here, this is super important. A lot of people miss this step. There are all of these fields that you can choose to update in this automation or not. Um, depending, you may want more or less of them, but you always want assigned to, that's who's gonna be assigned this activity. Um, and then if you're using people, deal, and organizations, you want all of those. I like to have notes because I put the instructions for the task right within the activity itself. Um, and the other ones are optional from my perspective. So I'm gonna go next. And now I have all of those options to fill in here. So I'm going to uh, paste these in. I have some notes here. So my subject is proposal follow-up type. I can do whatever here. I will just make these tasks. So these are just uh, activity types that are tasks. My due date is the same day. So I want it due that day that it is created. And then I want it assigned to the deal owner. So whoever is the owner um, after that delay step, I want that deal owner to have to complete this activity. And then I want it linked to the deal, to the person, to the organization. So that it's not just a rogue activity of follow up. Um, it's an activity that's actually linked to a deal, a deal history, uh, and the user can see all of that information. So I link to the deal, to the organization, and to the contact person. Then for the notes here, I'm going to paste them in. So here we have the notes. I'm going to apply this action. And then now I need to turn this on. So I can name it. So we'll do proposal follow up. Save that. Then who is this triggered by? I want this triggered by anyone at the company who moves a deal into that stage. So I want this triggered by any user. I can make it active, click save, and now that automation is on and running. Then I need to create a second automation, and this is for the recurring, uh, the activity getting created on a recurring basis. So this one is going to be again, in automation. And this one is going to be when an activity is updated. That's our trigger. So I'm going to apply that trigger and then I need the condition. So what is the condition? What activity? I don't want this triggering on just any activity. I want it based on the exact activity subject and the activity being marked as done. So here I'm going to do the activity subject is, and then I'm going to paste in the exact activity title. So when this activity activity status is or actually has changed to done, then I want to start a delay, right? When the proposal follow-up activity is done, I want to wait a week. So I'm going to add a delay step. And then I need to make sure the conditions are still met, right? So that that deal is still in the stage I've defined, that proposal sent, and the deal is still open. It's not yet won and not yet lost. So here I'll do a condition, activity status, or excuse me, this is the deal status. And the stage is proposal sent. So I apply that condition. So if that is true, then I want to create that same activity again. So here I will do a action and activity. I'm going to create the activity. Again, I'm going to select that the assigned to user, deal org, right? Those five really important for me. And then I'll paste this information in here. So here, the subject, it's a task, it's due the same day. Then this one is going to be assigned to the deal owner. So deal owner at the time the activity is being created. We're going to link it to the deal, to the org, to the person. And then I've got the notes pasted in here. 
and I'm going to apply that action. Then I'm going to name it, so recurring save that, then make it triggered by any user, turn it on, click save, and now that automation is on. Now, if you want to test your automations, you don't want to wait a week, what I always recommend doing is update the delay step to one minute, right? Then you can test it. Um, you don't have to wait around forever. And then you just need to remember <laughs> to go back in and update it to the actual condition that you want. So one week and apply it and save it um, to get that updated to the actual timeline that you want. But this is a great way to create re recurring activities so that your users don't have to worry about when they need to follow up, what they need to say. Uh, it's just in there for them every time they log in, they go to their activities, they complete them. And as long as they're staying on top of their activities, you're going to be winning more business.